As soon as we stepped out of the subway and started walking down the street towards the new World Trade Center Ground Zero area, the first thing that I saw, besides the Freedom Tower, Oh, I'm sorry. One World Trade Center. Someone corrected me in the last video and said that it's it's actually One World Trade Center. Well, it's always been One World Trade Center, but they also dubbed it Freedom Tower. And now they say it's formerly called the Freedom Tower. Please. All right. They already said it was Freedom Tower and they called it that for a long enough time that it stuck in everyone's mind. They can't just go, oh, now we change it to uh, the, the Bob Tower. No, I'm sorry. You already called it Freedom Tower and you already promoted that long enough to stick in the collective consciousness of people for years. So you can't just go back and change it now and act like that was never called that. No, it was and it pretty much still is in most people's point of view. That's the nickname for it and it probably always will be. So let's all get semantical and technical about it, okay? Because that really matters. Moving on, however, when we first walked up on Oculus, the new World Trade Center transportation hub, I I was I was pretty horrified. You can ask Aaron, I I couldn't stop talking about that and I almost didn't want to even go over to the ground zero area for a while because I was fixated on how horrified I was by this bone structure. It looks like it's out of Lion King or something hovering over that area. And when the guard told us it was supposed to be a dove of peace, I actually laughed in his face because um, I was just like, you got to be kidding me that they're actually trying to tell people that. And they are trying to go with this whole bird in flight language that they use in some of the articles about it, which I'm about to show you, but it's not a bird. Quite obvious. They called it Oculus. What does Oculus mean? I. Okay. It's not a bird. And if you look up this guy, my friend Jennifer Nielsen off Facebook sent me a bunch of pictures. If you look up this guy who designed it, uh, Santiago Calatrava, he's pretty well obsessed with eyeball structures. This is the City of Arts and Sciences in Valencia, Spain. This is one of the buildings there. And this is the drawing that he was, when he was sketching it out, obviously. I mean, it looks like the CBS logo. This is the new building that's currently being built at the Florida Polytechnic University, the Innovation Science and Technology Building. They're going to put water around that. Clearly, I mean, what is this? There's no other way to take it. I mean, look at it as it's being built. These are the construction photos. It's an eyeball. Well, not only is Oculus at World Trade Center an eyeball, it's meant to open. <laughs> it gives me the chills to talk about it. Okay, so initially it was meant to open all the time, but they're not going to do that anymore. What they've decided now is that the skylight of Oculus, the closed eye they have put over Ground Zero, is going to open once every year on September 11th. But get this, you guys. It's not going to stay open for the whole day. It's only going to stay open for exactly 102 minutes on each September 11th because that is how long the 2001 terrorist attack lasted from the time the first jetliner hit the Trade Center at 8.46 a.m. until the collapse of the second tower at 10.28 a.m. So every year for 102 minutes, the eye of Oculus will open at ground zero. Think about that for a minute. Just take that in living, breathing building. That's what they refer to it as, a, a living, moving building. It's a living creature, it's evolving, it's morphing because it's receiving a skin. That's how they talk about this Oculus building. Mr. Heintage said his biology analogy would, was not intended to echo Mr. Calatrava's organic conception of Oculus, but it seems safe to guess the architect would be pleased to hear that his building moved. He always said that it would. So that's how they talk about this thing, like it's living, like it's alive. And look at what Mr. Calatrava said at one of the annual remembrances. In all weather conditions, the public will experience a subtle sense of man's vulnerability while maintaining a link to a higher order. The memory of the victims will be honored and explicitly expressed through the most symbolic and significant element of the project allowing people to spontaneously gather with a sense of transcendence 
an elevation. It's not a bird. I'm just saying it's, it's not a bird. And all of these buildings are way over budget, and they know it. But that's not what this is about. I mean, the, it costs four billion just to build the Freedom to I'm sorry, not Freedom Tower, One World Trade Center, formerly the Freedom Tower, that everyone will always remember as being the Freedom Tower. Even if it garners $120 million in rent a year from the businesses inside it, it would still take 35 years to recoup the cost of construction. But as one worker on the site says, that's hardly the point. Quote, this building wasn't built to make money. It was built to demonstrate something to the world.